Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging. <sighs> While coming at you with thoughts of the day, I'm here at Now and Again Gift Shop and Boutique, and I wanted to show you this dress because it's an original, one of a kind. I'll tell you the history of it, and then I'll show it to you, but I want to show you something else first. And let you know a little bit about the lounging schedule. I doubt you're going to jot this down on a cocktail napkin and memorize it for the rest of your lives, but I'm going live Sunday, and then... I look in a daze. I don't know about next week. I'll have to look, but I'll just keep you posted. This Sunday's going to be mother stuff, I think. It might be the May game. It depends on my capability of doing anything because I'm still not really sleeping too well. Okay, so I'm here. I was talking to Amy. I'd like to show you the window as well, so we might go outside in a minute. Um, and I looked over and I saw these, and I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on a minute. What's going on here? What's this all about, Alfie? And she said that a gentleman named Brian Bates made, makes these. They're hummingbird spinners. They draw hummingbirds. Evidently, he um, has an illness and isn't able to do a whole lot, so he's been doing the crafts and whatnot. Well, I know Brian Bates totally. Absolutely know him like I know the wind. In fact, he lives right up the road, right past Mick, in a dangerous area of uh, Route 6. So I called him, and I'm going to get a couple of these. I'm going to give Mother one for Mother's Day, and plus I'm, you know, yeah, because she likes hummingbirds, and I think it's neat. So that's that story. Now, let me show you the window. I really don't have a lot to report. I just wanted to drop in. Still have not seen Mr. T. So I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just hoping for the best. I'm going to just walk out here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Okay. I know people think I'm nuts because I am. That's the sign she made. I probably should have done this in the other manner, but I'll show you the building because it's painted. Hope you can see this. I don't know. See the white brick? Here's a lovely way to enter. Remodeling. Whoa, look at that. My hair is shorter. I don't know if you noticed. So here we are. Okay, um, anyhow, I'm going to tell you the story of the dress. Remember a few weeks ago when I did the After the Live Gig video, I mentioned that there was a seamstress who had a husband who ended up, like, killing two people over drugs that happened in Linesville years ago. Boy, I have a lot of grain now, don't I? Um, well, she made this dress. It was, this was Mother's cocktail dress back in the day, and it had what I like to call a priest collar line, like, clear up here and around. And then it came here, and it was sleeveless. And then it just came down, clear to the ground. I didn't want any of that because I like a V-neck, and at the time I wasn't really keen on sleeveless. So she made me the sleeves and all this jazz, but she made it for me, and I have a belt now that works. And um, I thought I'd show it to you, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, here we are. Okay. I don't know why I get so confused doing this. Okay, I don't need this. See, here's the pattern. Here's my foot. I had a pair of wedge shoes, but they were broken, and on the way out the door, they broke more. Oh, my sleeve. See, sleeve. Okay, I'm losing my mind. Anyhow, there it is. There's the one-of-a-kind dress, never to be seen anywhere else, and the belt. You can do it without a belt, too, but it just kind of hangs and doesn't give you much of a figure. Okay, I guess that's all. I had a customer a minute ago, and um, I galloped out on the street because I forgot to give her her receipt. That rhymes. Yep. Okay, that's all, ladies and germs. I'm all excited about the hummingbird spinner. Will it go round in circles? Will it fly high like a bird up in the sky? Okay, that's all. Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me, drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues, leave labels at the door, research before you judge. Remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for this. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. Uh, speaking of which, I left that book here. I Remember how on Mondays I hold it up at the end of my After the Live gig? It was back in the boutique room. Forgot about it. Amy emailed or sent me a message and said, you left the war is a racket <laughs> book here on display. And she decided to read it and she read it. So there you have it. Okay. Live for you. Bye.